Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So it's a beautiful Sunday. I am feeling pretty good and I hope you guys all are feeling great as well. Today I'm going to tackle my dishwasher. It's on my to-do list for spring cleaning. And as you guys saw from the title, I'm, do I'm doing verses. I'm doing vinegar versus this finished dishwasher cleaner this is my first time purchasing this product and i'm actually really excited to try it because i read the reviews and a lot of people swear by it and they call it magic at least some of them did so i'm really excited to try it but because i always used to use just vinegar to clean my dishwasher but that's going to be very exciting for me to try today so before we get started on the video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and with all that missing let's get started now a quick disclaimer before we get started like i mentioned i used to only use vinegar to clean my dishwasher but i also use baking soda with it like i usually before i run the cycle with vinegar i take the racks out and the utensil holder i make paste with baking soda and vinegar and with microfiber cloth I wipe down the walls the, the, the corners with a toothbrush and I remove the filter I have a removable filter on this dishwasher so I remove it soak it in warm soapy water and wash it by hand but to be fair because like I said we're doing verses in this video I want it to be fair so for this product they said you don't have to do anything you just have to remove the sticker on top place it on the bottom rack of your dishwasher and you just run the hot cycle you have so I'm going to do the same for the vinegar I honestly never tested it since like I start washing my dishwasher these are the steps that I do and I never tried just uh, doing the vinegar cycle and see if that's going to clean everything so that's actually exciting for me to see so I'm going to do one cup of vinegar placing it on the bottom rack of my dishwasher and let's run the hot cycle that we have all right, so on this GE, heavy is the hottest cycle and it's also the longest cycle I have. So I'm going to turn it on right now. So the vinegar cycle is done. I'm just going to open it. There is steam in here. Whoa, okay, so that is better. You can see here the inside. Now I'm going to take the vinegar out so we can pull out that filter and see if it cleaned it. Alright guys, so here close-up shot. As you can see, we still have those things stuck on here. I'm not going to scrape them down yet. I really want to test out the finish to see if this one going to get rid of them because supposedly with this you really don't have to touch anything so let's test it out i'm going to pop the filter back on all right i'm not sure if you're supposed to shake it as you guys saw it was separate a little bit so i'm just going to give it a quick shake and i'm going to place it on the bottom rack just like that all right close it Okay, it is still on heavy, so I'm going to run the same cycle right now. As I mentioned, this is the hottest and the longest cycle I have. Alright guys, so now the finished cycle is finished. I'm really excited to open it and see how it did. So, actually, let me get you closer. Oh wow, it smells very fresh. It left like a nice scent in here. It looks very clean too it's all gone i've seen some videos where it doesn't work out the first time somehow the like the dishwasher doesn't get all the solution out and they have to run a second cycle but this one it did it from the first try and look inside it's really clean but i'm really um, actually excited to open that filter and see if it cleaned it up that looks clean but again those stuff is still in here so I think I have to do it by hand. I'm just going to take it to the sink right now and soak it in some warm soapy water and uh, clean it up with the toothbrush. But everything inside is pretty clean. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells like brand new again. All 
Alright guys, so I added my soap and right now I'm just going to let it soak for about 15-20 minutes and then I'll come back and with this toothbrush I'm going to scrub it down. Alright, it looks so much better. Right now I'm going to rinse it. Alright guys, so with this we finished this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I'm really happy that I can cross off my dishwasher off of my supreme cleaning list. And uh, I feel like if you uh, clean your dishwasher regularly, vinegar can be good enough to clean it and deodorize it. But if you live in a hard water area, you have a lot of calcium, lime scale built up, using the finished product every few months is a good idea. Uh, but I think that does it for this video. I have to go clean my washing machine right now. It will be a video I'll share it with you guys soon. But I think that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you you all enjoyed it and if you did please leave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and i will see you in the next one bye